Hi, in this video, you will learn a hidden secret about inserting pictures in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that provides creative presentation ideas for trainers. The secret I am about to reveal to you would allow you to create beautiful picture-based slides like this in a matter of seconds. Now what is the secret? The secret is to create your own master slides with custom shapes for picture placeholders. Now what is the advantage of a custom picture placeholder? Take a look. Now if I want to insert a picture, I can click here and I can insert any picture like say this one and say insert and that picture will get inserted in the custom shape that I defined. If you are someone who has worked with slide masters, you know that picture placeholders are usually rectangular in shape. Most trainers are not aware that they can manipulate the shape of the picture placeholders so they can create beautiful master layouts like this. Now let me show you how to create such beautiful custom master layouts with custom shapes for picture placeholders. Here I am in a new presentation and I am going to go to view, slide master and here you will see that there are quite a few slide masters and these are the layouts and this is the master slide. Now I am going to insert a new layout. So I am going to right click in the empty space between these two uh, or, or any of these slide layouts that you see here. I am going to right click and say insert layout and this is going to be my custom uh, slide layout. I am going to remove this so there is no title here on this one and I am going to insert a placeholder. In this case I am going to insert a placeholder called picture. So it is going to be a picture placeholder. I am going to click on it and I am going to hold the shift button down as I draw a square because the picture placeholder that I am about to create is uh, squarish in shape. Now I am going to go to edit shape option. If you go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon and go to edit shape option, you have the option to change the shape to whichever shape you want. Since I have already chosen something squarish, I am going to choose this one called as 16 point layout. And now I have a 16 point layout as my picture placeholder. I am going to adjust the corners here by clicking on this yellow button and slightly expanding it out. And now when I click outside, you can see the shape of the picture placeholder. Now I am going to add a little bit of uh, shape here to place my text. So let me choose a rectangle shape from Auto Shapes menu and I am going to draw the shape here. And I am going to have the shape fill in light blue color and I am going to remove the outline and I am going to send it back. Now this is going to be the area where I'm going to write my text. So let me go once again to insert placeholder option under slide master and this time instead of picture I'm going to select text and I'm going to click and drag so that I, I define the size of the text placeholder and here my text placeholder is ready and I'm going to click outside and now I have created a very simple master layout with custom picture placeholder and a beautiful background and some text layout here. I am going to go to close master view. Now let us insert the new slide with that particular uh, layout. So I am going to go to new slide and here you see that there is a custom layout and I can insert that particular layout and now if I want to insert the picture all I need to do is to click on this and I can choose any picture of my choice. Maybe I can choose this and say insert and now I have inserted the picture with that beautiful shape that I have defined. Now here I can write my own text. And I can continue to use the text like the way that I would use in any of the text placeholders and if I want to uh, click and press tab it goes into the secondary level and so on. So it's a beautiful layout that allows you total flexibility. Now let me show you one more thing. It is not necessary that you need to use only the shapes that are defined in the auto shapes menu. 
You can create your own total custom shape by combining different shapes for your custom picture placeholder. Now let me show you what I mean by that. Let me go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes I am going to choose this one and I am going to have a shape like this and maybe I can move the yellow handle so that I can play with the corners here and I'm going to choose another shape. Let me go to basic shapes and uh, click on this diamond shape and I'm going to place the diamond shape here. I'm just trying to create some different kind of a custom shape here. So I'm going to select both of them, go to arrange, align, align center, arrange, align, align middle. And now both are selected together. Go to format, merge shapes and I'm going to say union. Now this is a very beautiful and very interesting shape. Now if I were to fill in picture in this shape, it would look interesting. Now I can have my placeholder in the master layout in this shape. Let me show you how it is done. I'm going to right click and say copy. Let me go to view, slide master and I'm going to insert a new layout. So I'm going to right click here and say insert layout. If you require, you can always rename this layout. So I'm going to say rename lay layout by right clicking on this and say um, weird, whatever that, that I want to call it, I can call it. And I'm going to say rename. So we have a new layout here. And whatever that I've copied earlier can be pasted here. Can you see? So this is the way in which the new custom picture placeholder is going to be. Now let me go to insert placeholder and go to picture and let me have the placeholder kept here. Now I'm going to right click and bring it to front so I can place this right on top of this. Now I'm going to select the picture placeholder first, hold the shift button down and I'm going to select the picture, the shape that I created now and I'm going to go to format, merge shapes and say intersect. And now take a look at how the picture placeholder has become. It has got that custom shape that I created. Now let me close master view. And now let me insert a new slide. I'm going to click on the small arrow button below this uh, new slide icon. And I'm going to choose this layout called weird. And here you have uh, the custom picture placeholder. I'm going to click on it and let me insert a shape that I have selected earlier. And now take a look at how the picture placeholder has allowed me to insert a picture in the shape that I just created. The thing is, PowerPoint is an amazing software that can allow you to create magic in your training presentations. Unfortunately, most of the interesting features of PowerPoint are hidden. So many trainers have no clue about all those hidden features and as a result, they continue to make mediocre looking slides. If you are someone who is interested in taking your PowerPoint slides to the next level in your training presentations, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. Inside the program, I'll teach you unique tips tricks and techniques in PowerPoint that no one else teaches you either in a course or in a book anywhere online. If you want to learn more about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, you can click on the No More button here. I'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video. And one more thing before we close this video. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting? even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please sign up for a fun 7-day email course by clicking on the button here. It is a totally free course and you will really love it if you are into creating training presentations. I'll see you on the inside.